I'm gonna be talking to you about one of many of the ways that brands can stop unauthorized sellers from stealing their sales, from denigrating their brand's reputation, and also potentially harming your consumers. So there are many ways to develop what's called a material difference and take the sale of your brand's products outside the first sale doctrine. They include post-sale tech support, training, customer support, updates to the consumers about the product, and also failure to have the right labeling, among many other ways. Today I'm gonna to be talking about something that's a bit unusual that you may not realize is a weapon in your arsenal to stop unauthorized sales, and that is the ability of the consumer to participate in your brand's promotional opportunities. Now, it may seem a bit odd, that if a consumer receives a product and they won't have the follow-up of other offers or coupons or new products or add-on products, that they will not be subjected to ongoing information to buy more products that would somehow take the sale of the initial product outside the first sale doctrine. But it does. And this issue was addressed in several courts around the country Pepsi-Cola, PepsiCo, and also Bayer filed lawsuits. There were lawsuits filed in Nevada, Louisiana, and other states where this issue was addressed. And in the PepsiCo case, it had to do with a, a brand of soda called Manzanita Sol, which is the second largest selling soda in Mexico. And what this unauthorized seller was doing was buying Manzanita Sol in Mexico bringing it into the United States and selling it online. And what the court did, the court agreed. The court agreed that the promotional opportunities that PepsiCo was adding to its products, if the products were purchased from an authorized reseller, was enough to qualify as a material difference in what the consumer received, and therefore the sale of that particular soda was outside the first sale doctrine, and PepsiCo was legitimately able to stop the unauthorized sales. Now, we will also be talking about another way of taking your products outside the first sale doctrine that was addressed in one of the PepsiCo cases, and that has to do with labeling. But the point of this video is for every brand manager, every brand, to know that there are many ways to take the sale of your products outside the first sale doctrine, and a powerful one is one that you may not have known about called promotional opportunities. If your consumers are not getting the same promotional opportunities when they buy the product from an unauthorized seller versus an authorized seller, that is enough, as was stated by several courts around the country, to take the sale of your products outside the first sale doctrine and legitimately empower the brand to stop unauthorized sales of that product.